Hi, uh, we meet again for another lesson. This is for continuous writing, which is for the Form 5 students. And uh, for this lesson, we are doing descriptive composition. For SPM Paper 1, the code is 3119 stroke 1. So there are two sections. Section A is directed writing, 35 marks. And section B is for continuous writing, 50 marks. So for section B, which is a continuous writing, there are a few types of topics. So you have descriptive for person, place or event. Uh, there's another one, narrative, is like a story and factual. And then you have argumentative, is where you give your opinions. And lastly, you have reflective. To understand uh, the questions order, uh, topics better. So let's look at this is the question for SPM uh, in the year 2019. So let's look at the question number one. Write a composition of about 350 words on one of the following topics. So number one, if you had the chance to be someone else, who would you choose to be? Explain what would be good about being that person and what might be difficult. So this is reflective. And then we have number two, modern inventions have made our lives much too complicated. Things used to be a lot simpler in the past. How far do you agree? Explain why. So this is more on giving opinion. So it is argumentative. Number three, write a story about two people who had an argument because one of them had lost a mobile phone. And your story with, and they both realized how foolish they had been. So this is definitely a story or narrative. And next we have which do you think is more important, money or health? Compare the two and decide if one is more important than the other. Give your reasons. So, this is argumentative. And lastly, write about the day you first met your best friend. Describe where you were and how you began talking to each other. Explain how your friendship has developed since that time. So definitely, this is, uh, it is more on descriptive and also narrative. Now we are looking at descriptive and narrative writing. So normally, these two are a combination. You can't really separate them for certain topics. So let's look at the first one we have. Uh, you can write about a person. Second, they will ask question maybe about a place. And lastly, it can be a topic or a question on event. Maybe a happy event or a sad event. Happy event could be like a celebration. A party and set event could be like accident, flood or fire or even robbery. Today we are going to learn about how to write an event which is a set event. It is about accident. Before you start you need to look at the vocabulary. So good vocabulary helps writing because using descriptive words helps your reader envision what you are describing so they can have a picture of what you're trying to describe. And number two, creating more variety in paragraph and sentences with vocabulary and words make readers interested to read your essay. Now let's look at some of the uh, word lists or vocabulary which are useful for you in your description of the accident. So here we have nouns, so there are uh, many words and phrases here such as public spiritedness, good Samaritan, bystanders, passerby, injured, hurt, cow, is it serious, severe, light or minor. Then you have outpatient treatment, emergency call, police, ambulance, casualties or victims. Then we have hit and run, out of control, car or out of control lorry or out of control motorcycle. Then you have tireless effort, you have fatal or fatality, siren of an ambulance, paramedics, hit and run. Then you have the word dented, damage, flip, red car, wreckage, dented bicycle, bent or distorted. Then you have spluttering sound of car engine. You have stationary, uh, maybe lorry or van. And you have the word unconscious. Then you have speeding or speedy car, irresponsible driver, motorist. 
registration number, license, state of shock, out of control car, out of control lorry or motorcycle. Then you have tireless effort. Then you also have windscreen, booth, front or rear bumpers. Now let's look at some phrases for actions. Okay, these are normally with verbs. So you have offered help, gave first aid treatment, stopped, hail passing car, rush to hospital, swerve, flung, crowds gathered, or crowd surrounded the victim, pinned to the seat, informed, called or alerted the police, occurred, overtook, blood ooze, or blood tickle from his open wounds, treated, shattered, rescued or saved, skidded, plunge, rendered. Then next we have uh, words for uh, collisions such as crash, hit, knocked into, knocked, hit on, knocked down, crash into, collided with or hit. Next we have fell down, thrown off his bicycle, landed on the ground with a loud touch, lay motionless, groan in pain, and then we have fainted, regained consciousness, screamed, cried, rendered help. There are more here, sent or was taken to the nearest hospital, put or placed on stretcher, bled, bleeding profusely or bled profusely, serious injuries, leg, forehead, arm broken, bruises, cuts, fractured, fractured or wounds. And then you have admitted, discharged or splattered. Here are a few uh, words or phrases to describe feeling. You can say sympathetic, sympathize, panic, felt panicky, devastated, petrified, sorrowful. Or you can use shocked, surprised, frightened, terrified, horrified, amazed, sad, dejected, bitter, dismal, heartbroken, melancholy, mournful, pessimistic or somber. You can use some idiomatic expressions such as lend a helping hand. You can write he or I ran to lend a helping hand to the victim who was injured. Chill the bone. You can write the scene of the horrible accident. Chill my bone. Stop dead in tracks. You can say I stopped dead in the, my tracks as I heard the sirens from an ambulance. Rooted to the spot. I stood rooted to the spot or I stood rooted to the ground watching the car wreckage. And lastly, you can write, my heart, uh, heart sank. My heart sank seeing the injured victims. These are some sample sentences to describe the introduction or the start of the accident. You can write, I saw a yellow car trying to beat the red light. Before I knew it, I heard a thunderous heart-stopping crash. The car had slammed head on into a silver van right in the middle of the large intersection. Shattered windscreen glass was thrown all over the junction and the passer passers-by crowded round the scene. I saw a young boy make a dash across the road. There was a loud blare of horn, a squeal of brakes and I saw a car knock into the boy. He fell as though his feet were swept from under him. Fortunately, the car was not moving very fast and the driver managed to stop the car before a wheel could run over the fallen boy. Uh, there are more sentences here or paragraph that you can use. One evening, as a group of three children were tearing down a road on their bicycles, a van suddenly shot out of a junction right in their path. The driver was obviously a stranger to the area and did not see the danger until it was too late. He braked hard and swerved his van in an attempt to avoid hitting the young cyclist. Try as he did, he could not avoid hitting the leading cyclist. The front end of the van collided with the young cyclist with a sickening crunch. The boy was flung onto the road. All of a sudden, there was a loud crash behind me. I was quite taken aback by the unexpected loud noise. I turned around to see what had just happened. I realized that it was a serious road accident. Due to the wet slippery road, a car driver had lost control of his car. Consequently, he rammed his car into the back of a stationary lorry. The front of the car was badly damaged. There was smoke coming from the engine. 
splinters of glass were seen scattered on the ground. Here are more sentences. A black car had made a left turning without signalling and as a result, a school bus crashed into it. A few cars behind the school bus rammed into the bus as they could not brake in time and soon it became a pile up. The already congested road became jammed with vehicles that came to a crawl. I told my father that we had to help the victims and he nodded silently. He brought the car to a halt not too far from the accident spot. A boat out of the blue, it means suddenly. When John was about to reach the school, he heard a screeching noise from a car and some screaming by the pedestrian. He quickly turned around to see what had happened. He saw a boy was lying down in the middle of the road with his bicycle. He was badly hurt. The ground and his school uniform were all covered with his blood. He was bleeding profusely. A white Honda stopped in front of the little boy. The driver of the car quickly rushed towards the boy. There are two more examples. When I was approaching a junction not far from my school, I saw a student. Riding a motorcycle, she had just stopped at the junction to give way to the traffic from her right. While she was giving way, suddenly her motorcycle was rammed from behind by a speeding van. As a result of the impact, the girl and her motorcycle jerked forward before falling to the ground. Her books were scattered on the ground. Her arms and legs were bruised and her elbow was bleeding profusely. The poor girl groaned in pain. There is another example. A motorcyclist was following behind our car very closely. He was so impatient that he was trying to overtake our car even near a sharp bend. At that critical moment, there was an oncoming car. Father swerved to the roadside and I got a terrible jolt. It was too late for the motorcyclist to avoid the car. His motorcycle ran against the bumper of the car and smashed its windscreen. The motorcyclist somersaulted over the car and was found lying in a pool of blood. It was a scene to chill the flesh. All that happened in split second and fear overwhelmed us. Next, we have another example. Remember, this, this is the starting of the accident. Last Thursday, while Hashim was walking home from school by the side of a highway in Kuala Damansara, he witnessed a terrible accident which happened right in front of his eyes. The accident involved a huge lorry and a bus. The lorry which was travelling on the second lane was loaded with steel bus while the bus was packed with passengers and travelling on the third lane. Before the accident occurred, the lorry was ahead of the bus and the distance between them was close. The bus was travelling at a high speed. All of a sudden, a lorry swerved to the right lane. Upon seeing the sudden change, the bus driver tried to brake but it was too late. Subsequently, the bus rammed into the back of the lorry. The impact of the collision was so strong that both vehicles were badly dented and dragged some distance before they came to a halt. Now, let's look at two more examples. The scene that greeted us was something I would never forget. It left an indelible imprint in my mind to date. The impact of the accident had plunged three school children out of the school van. The driver, a lady, lay most lifeless on the steering wheel. I rushed to the children who were preschoolers. Two of them were seriously hurt and bleeding profusely from the heads and hands. They were, un they were conscious, although too weak to realize what had happened. One of them had her left hand broken and appeared unconscious. In the meantime, passers-by had called the ambulance and while waiting, we tried as best as possible to help the victims. The passers-by in the school bus too were injured. I dashed into the bus and saw the driver leg slumped on the wheels. He had severe injuries on the head. While my sister helped him down from the bus, I told the injured school children to stay calm. Most of them appeared to suffer from minor cuts and bruises on their arms and bodies. It was really fortunate that nobody was badly hurt. By then, a few adults had entered the bus and together, we instructed the children to get down from the bus slowly. The children were crying and screaming for their parents and we had to hug them to keep them quiet. Other sample are paragraph or sentences. I approached the vehicle to see if I could render my help. 
I noticed that the car driver sustained severe head injuries and was bleeding profusely. He was unconscious in the car. Perhaps his head knocked heavily against the steering wheel when the accident occurred. Luckily, the lorry driver only sustained minor injuries. I ran to a nearby phone booth at once and called an ambulance using the public phone. After that, I returned to the scene of the accident. Together with the lorry driver, we helped the car driver to get out of the car. Next, there is another example here. Soon the place was crowded. Some kind people helped us to carry the car driver to a nearby bus stop where he could lie down and rest. Not long after, the police and an ambulance arrived. Two paramedics carried the car driver to the ambulance on a stretcher and he was rushed to hospital for treatment. There are more sample sentences here. All traffic stopped. I ran over to the boy and saw blood on the road. He was bleeding from a cut on his head. A man came and examined the boy. Then he lifted the boy and carried him to a car. They sped off, presumably to the hospital. Many people surrounded the driver who looked dazed and bewildered. A policeman came to calm things down. Next, we have another example. A taxi driver stopped his taxi and I quickly ran to the nearest telephone booth to inform the police and the hospital. From a distance, I could see some people trying to help the injured motorcyclist and the car driver. They carried them into one of the onlookers' car and sent them to the hospital for treatment. Meanwhile, the taxi driver tried to control and direct the traffic. Soon, the police arrived and they promptly took some measurements and evidence. After that, they moved the damaged car and the motorcycle to the roadside to ease the traffic congestion. They also took down the evidence provided by witnesses and onlookers. Let's look at another example. I quickly ran towards the girl to lend her a helping hand. All of a sudden, the van driver reversed his van and drove off as quickly as he could. I was extremely astonished to see his irresponsible and cold-blooded behaviour. I watched appalled as he sped off into the distance. I then helped the girl to a safer place at the roadside. She told me that the pain in her arm was excruciating. I comforted her and told her not to move her arm. I also assured her that help was on the way. Some passers-by came to see if they could render any help. On seeing what had happened, several students from the Red Crescent Society of our school came with their first aid kit to help the girl by treating her minor injuries. I collected the girl's books and gave them back to her. Luckily, her motorcycle was not badly damaged. These are more examples. I felt so frightened and anxious at the time. I wanted to call the ambulance but then I realised that my phone was not with me. There was uh, no phone booth around either. Luckily, a passerby that had seen the situation quickly used her mobile phone to call for an ambulance. There were a few students who had seen this situation. They quickly ran into the school to inform the teacher. After a moment, a male teacher rushed out from the school and called the police without wasting any second. Soon the ambulance arrived and the badly injured boy was taken away to the hospital. The police arrived too at the same time. Meanwhile, another man had called up the hospital for ambulance. After a few minutes, the ambulance of a nearby private hospital came and carefully placed the boy on the stretcher and took him away. The boy apparently had a broken leg and arm and also had an injury on his head. Due to the collision, he had become unconscious, so no one knew the extent of the injury on his head. This is the last example for the progress. You can write, after the accident, some passers-by and many drivers stopped their cars to give the victims a helping hand. Just like me, they were shocked by the tragedy. I immediately ran to the nearby phone booth and called the relevant authorities about the accident. I also called for the ambulance. Although we managed to rescue a few of the victims, many of them were still trapped on the bus. About 15 minutes later, the police, the firefighters and a few ambulances arrived at the scene and started to the rescue work at once. 
while the police were controlling the traffic and talking to the eyewitnesses, the firefighters were helping the victims to exit from the bus. They were then treated by the paramedics at the roadside before being rushed to hospital. Now let's look at the sample sentences for the ending. There are a few examples here. The police and the ambulance arrived at about the same time. They noted down the positions of the vehicles and began asking for witnesses to the accident. I volunteered to give some details since I had seen the whole thing. Uh, another example. Meanwhile, two ambulances had arrived. A traffic police car was there too. Two policemen took down statements from eyewitnesses. The injured and the dead were whisked away to the hospital. My sister and I later gave an account to the police of what had happened. It was a horrifying scene that made me sick when the dead victims were taken out of the bus. Some of them had their stomach ripped apart while some had fractured skulls, among, the other, among other fatal injuries. Not long after, a large amount of diesel fuel on the ground that had leaked from the oil tanks of the three vehicles somehow ignited. On seeing the blaze, everybody panicked. After requesting everyone to stay away from the fire, the firefighters managed to put it out and stop it from spreading. Luckily, nobody or no one was injured and the rescue work resumed. A few hours later, all the victims were pulled out from the wreckage and the rescue operation ended. The deceased were sent to the hospital mortuary where they were claimed by their necks of kin. There are more samples here for the ending. I was about to use a nearby public telephone to call for an ambulance when a kind parent stopped her car by the roadside. She volunteered to send the girl to hospital. After the girl had entered the car, a few policemen arrived in my patrol car. When they learned that I was an eyewitness to the hit and run accident, they asked me some questions. I explained to them how the accident happened. I also provided them with the registration number of the van and the description of the driver in the hope that the culprit would be apprehended and brought to justice soon. The policeman thanked me for my assistance and cooperation. He also praised me for doing my civic duty. After that, a police officer asked the lorry driver how the accident happened. He told the police officer everything. Both the police officer and the lorry driver complimented me on my benevolence and prompt actions. He then requested the crowd to disperse. After that, the police cordoned off the scene of the accident to facilitate investigation. The lorry driver then went to the police station to lodge a report. Thank you for watching this lesson. So we have come to the end. Just now we discussed um, continuous writing and it was on how to describe accidents. Okay, that's all. I hope that you have benefited from this lesson and then best of luck in your SPM examination. I'm signing off. I'm Madam Gan. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It's called Educator OmniTube. Bye-bye.